In the trenches of the darkest days of the struggle, women fought alongside men to usher in a democratic blueprint. In those fierce days, the words, you strike a woman, you strike a rock, resonated. 24 years on, gender violence is handcuffing the emancipation of women. Shackled and chained by the terrors of gender violence. Far from the vision of women who fought apartheid. We never thought that that would be one of the most major issues that affect us as a country now after apartheid. The Me Too movement ignited a lot and expanded on what was being done here. I also think that our task going forward is to start understanding how we can take the struggle against gender-based violence onto another level. With August declared Women's Month, year a testament to a turbulent past, the stark and forbidding women's prison, where screams of terror and torture echoed. Barbara Hogan looks through the prism of time. There was the whole apartheid paraphernalia that went on with it. But prison is one of those places where if you are a prisoner, you suffer more exclusion. You are considered, and today we need to think about prisoners, you are considered to be beyond the pale. So of everybody who's excluded in society, probably prisoners are the most excluded and the most ignored and the most not responded to. Today, the footsteps of anti-apartheid matriarchs were retrod. The grave sites of Lillian Ngoi, Helen Joseph, Rahima Musa and Albertina Sasulu visited. I hope that all of us can take something away from this and go ahead forward into Women's Month and be able to maybe do a little bit of what these women achieved. Their strength, their resilience is something that I draw from these women. We should stand united and, uh, you know, come forth to be reckoned with. Julian Pillay, SABC News, Johannesburg.